Well, a former Saks Fifth Avenue shoe salesman, now one of the best bantamweights on the planet. Here is the funk master, Al Jermaine Sterling, representing the Sarah Longo fight team in New York State. And he's been in there with some of the elites in the division. Al Jermaine Sterling very much has championship aspirations. He is tough, he is creative, outstanding cardio, scrambles with the best of them, Brazilian jiu-jitsu purple belt, and uses the length well on the feet. We'll see what Aljo can do here tonight in what is another big top 10 type of situation. This guy has world-class throws. Look for his opponent to try to keep as far away from this man's clinch as possible. Because if he gets a hold of you, the result Results are devastating. So here's the now two-time UFC Bantamweight champion TJ Dillashaw. Had to feel good for him to beat Cody Garbrandt and become the man to beat at 135 pounds once again. Dwayne Ludwig certainly deserves a lot of credit for Dillashaw's acceleration as a striker, but he's got the wrestling chops as well, some submission skills to boot. TJ Dillashaw, as well-rounded really as any fighter in the game today, and trying to retain his Bantamweight title once again tonight. This next guy has incredible takedowns. Both timing, speed, and of course, technique are literally top of the food chain. All right, now our tale of the take for this Bantam weight scrap. Sterling is 28, Dillashaw is 31. Here we go, first round, you ready? Are you ready? Let's All right, we are underway here at the home of the UFC, the T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. Well, this man is a fighter's fighter, the UFC Bantamweight champion, TJ Dillashaw, still has visions of going down as the greatest 135er of all time. And if he can get the win tonight, that would certainly be a step in the right direction. Dillashaw figures to be chasing the KO once again tonight. Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Dillashaw. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Quick jab. Both men landing in that exchange. Dillashaw's strike attempt there is blocked. Head kick attempt. That'll work. Switching stances here. Straight right. Clinch now. Punch coming, it's blocked. Straight right hand now, just misses. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Dillashaw. Oh, going for the takedown here. He lands an excellent combination. There's that jab. Good defense there. He's got a nice snap to that leg kick, very nice. Tags him. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, double jab. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Oh! Kick to the face! He's got him hurt here. Defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh! Huge shot there, Lance Bush! Dillashaw's kick is blocked. How about that shin? Try to establish that jab. Dillashaw gets touched by that kick to the body. Clip to the body there, Joe left his midsection wide open. He's become a little bit susceptible. Oh, oh he's hurt, he's hurt. We're going at it now. Oh! Head kick! Again going back to the jab just out of range. So a strong five oh, minutes oh. down. All right, round two. 
At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. T.J. Dillashaw has spectacular footwork and movement, beautiful striking from both the southpaw and orthodox stance, and he has an excellent wrestling base as well. Takedown attempt here, and he's stuck. Oh! Oh, you heard him. Huge kick misses. That one hurt. Body kick, look at that. Hurt that with that one right. Oh, oh, oh. He tagged him, he tagged him. He's hurt bad. Man, has his chin been tested early. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Oh, he missed that kick. That's a beautiful right leg kick there. Big punches. Oh, very nice. Big shots. Oh, this could be it. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, nice job. That's it. Back to the feet. Well, it's not going to be fun walking tomorrow. Would you look at the bruise on the outside of his thigh? That is looking awful now. Two minutes to go in the round. Gets his feet on the hips, manages to shove him away. The kick lands. Sterling gets caught with that punch. He moves to stacking him now. Well, look at that, scoots. Back up to his feet again. Straight right hand, no good. And he's looking for that left. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, so he continues to land strikes here, Joe, but just not doing a lot of damage because his cardio at this point has abandoned him a little bit. Nice punch. Oh! oh! Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Dillashaw. What a round. Oh, oh, oh. Well, certainly looking at a 10-8 after that round, maybe even a 10-7, courtesy of the multiple knockdowns. Massive round there from Dillashaw. A huge round, and his opponent should be committed. Here you go, third round, we ready? We ready? Let's third go. round underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue, oh, kick him in the face. He's got him right here. Body kick, look at that. Again with a solid kick to the body. Big shots. Oh. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. He got the oh, a nice job to catch the leg and work it right into a takedown. Beautiful transition there. Good combination so far from both men. Changes his stance. Oh, Looks like it did start him a little bit. He's in trouble, he's in trouble. Big body shot. shot. It appears that cut is getting worse. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Back to Orthodox. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. And now they clinch up. 
Well, there's a swing and a miss. His cardio is really abandoning him at this stage of the fight. And sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even further. So let's see if he can preserve some stamina and try to figure out a way to get oh, back to the he He is in deep danger right now. Deep danger. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Sterling gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice hammer fist. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Half guard here. Back to half guard now. Continues to apply pressure here at half guard. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Stoll. His left eye is really starting to swell here. And that'll do it, 15 oh, minutes stop, stop, in the books. <laughs> Carly Baker in the building tonight, thank you very much. for five five-minute rounds. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. A huge front kick for the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, that fight was over as soon as that kick made contact. And with this particular striker, you are playing with poison if you don't get that guard up. You know these kicks are coming. You know they're coming in bunches. And that was a near-perfect land. Nailed the target. Full extension on the kick. And that's one of the better highlights we've seen here recently inside the octagon. Check it out again. And he's out. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop in this contest at seven seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by... Oh, oh.